What is up guys? Welcome to a new series that we're going to be putting on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be called the Solo Queue to Mythic series. We're starting on a brand new account as you can see right there in Nice through YouTube. Um, and we're going to be going from basically the very beginning which is I believe Elite. Yeah, it's starting us at Elite 2. So uh, I'm going to be doing it as if I'm live streaming but at the same time it's going to be on more on commentary on what's going on in my head so you know if you guys are having any trouble um ranking up yourself especially if you're playing solo queue uh you can kind of see and hear my thinking process and kind of the important things you need to know to basically hard carry yourself hopefully up to mythic um so this is also a challenge for myself but we'll see how it goes and i hope you guys enjoy this series if you do like videos like this don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel as well and feel free to comment too you know what you guys think if you have any tips for your uh to to share as well and um yeah let's get to it all right so in preparation we pretty much have no emblems we got physical we don't even have magic um you know hero wise who do you have available right off the bat not many we'll, we'll actually we'll see right here um okay you got these heroes you know you can use layla in this case, honestly, what you're probably going to want to do if you're just starting out, you have no heroes. Um, Edora is a pretty good pick, but at the same time, if you take, let's say, uh, a Xylon, you can actually help your team win by just pushing. If, if all goes really bad, you can actually just go ahead and go for the push. You know what I mean? So I am going to go ahead and go with Xylon here. Um, we're, we don't have many spells either, so I'm just going to go ahead and take Retri. And we might just end up jungling as well. We could offlane with him, but we're just going to have to see, you know, what happens with the team here. We do have a pretty good team comp, though. We have a uh, Franco, a Lapu Lapu, a Nana, Vexana, and a Xylong. And just remember, pretty much if you're solo queuing, especially at this rank, if you're solo queuing at this rank, you pretty much need to just not rely on like you need to get it in your head don't rely on your team and just try to win the game yourself to that's the plan Five seconds till the enemy uh so we're gonna go ahead and get the jungle Action. item these are real players right I'm pretty sure they're real players. I mean, it is it is ranked. It's Elite 2. That's exactly where we started, so... We'll just come here, clear the lane. Bro, these might not even be real players. Honestly. Still got tips coming out. We have Grok, Odette, top. Pretty much at low levels, you're not going to have people really... I mean, in Elite, you're probably not going to have anybody, you know, jungling, um, taking buffs. You know, they're not really going to focus on taking buffs. So, if you want to, the best thing you can do is play someone like a jungler or... An assassin is what I would what I would go with if I'm, you know, playing solo at this rank. Like just just try to again pl try to play someone who has presence on the map. Okay, her passive's already gone, so we know we're gonna get a kill here. And then from here, so we're doing jungling. There's no boots here, but in a low rank, I would just go boots so you can keep moving across the map. We could even do attack speed boots on someone like Xylong, uh, if you really wanted to, but... Yeah, we'll just go with attack speed boots. But I think at a low rank, you pretty much want to... You pretty much want to pick someone that can... Prioritize the buffs if you know what you're doing. If not, then just go with your comfortable pick. Like, a mage is really good. Um, I would not recommend tanking. I would not recommend tanking at all. You know, if you're solo queuing, just because as a tank, you can't single handedly win a game unless, you know, 
for some reason everybody does a terrible job. What's the question though? Are these real players or are they bots? Like in Elite? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, after the uh, after the attack speed boots, we'll just go ahead and go get some more damage. Um, we'll get the blade. Taking the enemy buff as long as much as you can. Always try to take the enemy buffs. You know, they're 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 like I said, they're really not gonna be prioritizing buffs. Or pushing even, like in these lower lower ranks. So again, we're gonna have the first turret here. Okay, we could probably even can keep pushing, you know what I mean? Could probably keep pushing. And I don't even know if they're going to come defend, but... Okay, always Cabbage Turtle if you can. What is it, two to two? One turret? Another thing to look at and, and get used to if you're ranking up is always constantly looking at the map. Even while you're doing objectives, if you just drag or you dr you just drag your finger around, you can check things out on the map. You know, do we have a gank here? We do. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we do. Okay, Grok. There's a chance that in Elite, you're either going to be playing against bots or you're going to be playing against really really new players okay one smite again always keeping an eye on the objectives we can go ahead and get this turret and then you got blue up you have blue and red up, and then look at the turtle timer too. You got minute on the turtle timer. You know, but is this an easy kill right here? Most likely it is. Cancel the ultimate and auto attack and hopefully it kills her. There you go. Again, always constantly looking around the map, just with your right thumb, you know, Getting as much information as you can. Probably the biggest tip is map awareness. Like, if you guys really want to improve, you know, spend more time looking at your map. And also, as far as buying, you know, I do this a lot where I'm buying while I'm running to the next place. You can do that. Um, you can either use all equipment mode or simple mode, depending on what build you're using. Or if you're used to the build. But then just making sure that you prioritize the right items. You know, that's another thing. Making sure that you're prioritizing the right, right items. Because sometimes you'll start buying things for like two different sets. And then you don't finish like... You don't finish one of them, right? So, again, taking the enemy's buff. Super important. You can see you have two bottom. And our wave up here is pushed. So this is an easy tower. You got two top, two bottom. And only Nana here. Nice. You can... If these are bots, we're just going to be able to end it right here. I know a couple people have told me that they're stuck in Elite. Well, these are very simple things that you can do to get out of Elite. Here comes Grok. Again, map awareness is key. Nice. No one coming to defense. We're going to keep pushing. We also have double buff. Yeah, these definitely have to be bots. Maybe not. They are hard pushing at bottom lane, though, too. So Now, can you end this? And then again, turret locking. You'll notice that I have two different selections for locking. Turret lock, minion lock. That's game right there. <laughs> 